Hey YouTube, Casey Classic 7 here, back again with another video. Got some NBA Live 18 here. Want to give you guys my first impressions of the game. Um, so far, I really am enjoying the NBA Live game. This is also coming from someone who has been playing the series for a very long time now and has purchased every um, game on the series for this console generation, including NBA Live 14. Um, to me, this feels like a combination of all those games where it, um, this game is a great foundation for um, what I'm expecting to see from the NBA Live series. I really do like what they have done with the game this year, and um, it can only go up from here. Hopefully, EA Sports starts to take NBA Live as a serious um, game in their sports genre and they really start to um, invest some real money into this game and, and invest some real resources because they really do have finally a very good foundation there's some other things um, in the game that they can really improve on but in terms of the gameplay this is finally some viable gameplay in my opinion um, fans of the series are really going to enjoy this game this is going to be a game that they're able to play all year um, and fans um, of basketball also will be able to appreciate this game once they get the moves down and you know really try to learn how to play this game they're going to enjoy it a lot of people who have been critiquing NBA Live is comparing it to the competitor and they're trying to play the game like it's the competitor and are getting frustrated because um, NBA Live isn't playing that way. But at the same time, you can't, you know, play NBA Live the same way as the competitor because it's not the competitor. You have to play NBA Live a certain way as well as you have to play the competitor um, a certain way. And that's just that. And at the same time, you're having a lot of these guys um, critiquing this game when, um, one, they really don't know what they're doing. And that's not to be disrespectful, but you can tell that these guys didn't put in the time going to the lab and really learn how to play this game. Because if they did, they would be able to see um, what this game fully has to offer. And those who have played the game... Um, since the game has came to the PS4 and this uh, console generation can really see the improvements um, that this title has made and um, coming from NBA Live 14 and to see that um, this is the game that we have at this moment is amazing it really it really truly is an amazing thing even um, look at this play right here you know, I, I'm not. I didn't mean to analyze any specific play, but um, look at this. Specific, but look at this play. Since I'm on this play, I pull back here. And the reason why Damian Lillard stumbles, stumbled here, this is the guy that the user was on. This isn't gonna happen when you're, you know, playing against computer and computer is not gonna randomly stumble like that. But user was on him. He chose the wrong direction. That's why he's stumbling. Also, look at the ball avoidance here. John Wall able to, you know, it's just these things, they just look so clean. I mean, I don't know how anyone can say um, that they don't see the improvements, that this game is uh, dead, broken, blah, blah, blah. Anyone who has been playing this game and has, um, you know, paid attention anything to the NBA Live Series, you can see that this game is a huge improvement and... Um, like I said, uh, hopefully EA Sports sees it as well and they really start to invest money into this title because this really can be another one of EA Sports' flagship titles, even with the competitor. Um, there's enough room for both of these games to stand in their own um, realms in terms of sports basketball. Um, and um, that's all I have to say about that. I have some more NBA Live videos as well as some other sports gaming videos on my channel very soon. Um, guys, stay tuned. This is sports gaming season, the beginning of it. KC Classic 7, signing out.